We are living in a golden age of young defensemen in this game. Kale McCarr, Quinn Hughes, Rasmus Dahlin, Adam Fox, Charlie McAvoy, Shea Theodore, Mikhail Sergachev, John Marino, and Miro Heiskin, and the guy this video is about. Honestly, coming into this, I was never really blown away by Miro comparing his game to the high octane offensive creativity of most of his friends. After clocking about 20 games on him, that really hasn't changed. But that's not a bad thing when he's the best defender of that entire group. Everything you need to know he gave us on his second shift in 2018. The effortless speed to start the transition game the other way. A willingness to support the attack as an option at the point. The ability to get back and erase any counterattack. Just wanted it flex it away from Clayton Keller. It's so good. That sequence is impressive for most late 20s, early 30s guys at the position. He did this when he was 19. As a 23-year-old who looks like this when defending a rush, I have a great appreciation for what Heiskanen can do so consistently against guys 10 years older. Off the rush, he's so good at keeping attackers in front of him with his skating ability, making his stick work look so easy. Even when you think you've beaten him to the outside, you look over your shoulder and there he is, keeping you, Patrick Kane, there, away from the net, away from shoulder. This, of course, is complemented by a calm, poise and ability to see things develop at a speed that not many at the position can. Any two-on-one I've seen him play, he's never gone down on the ice. Instead, he's quarterbacking while playing pass, almost always giving Ben Bishop or Anton Kadobin, elite, a chance to make the save. Passes to the front, breakaways, even rushes are ended before they had a chance to even exist. Sometimes it's too good and he has to be generous every once in a while. Come to think of it, he's a little too generous in his own zone under pressure. At 6'1", 190, Miro isn't the biggest, and along the boards you'll notice him struggle with bigger forwards. He has been walked and victimized by Nathan McKinnon, but you need two defensemen to stop Nathan McKinnon so he shouldn't feel too bad. At the net front, he's not the best at clearing the crease and sometimes he keeps his distance, which isn't optimal. He's still young though and not physically mature yet, so I'm not too bent up about it. Plus, over the course of the season, he did do this little reverse play in the zone that I like. As for hitting... He ain't Zach Cassian, but he's trying. Hey, remember that effortless speed? If I had to describe it, it would be the Taurus jersey, but better. Yes, exactly. With the puck leading rush, without the puck supporting rush, immediately after making one, two defensive stops at the line, he's gone. He may not be as creative when he gets over the opposing blue line, but he gets his team there cleanly and can be the supporter all by himself. On a team that doesn't know how to score in an era this fast, that is so valuable. Five on five, on the power play, shorthanded, any situation, he's in on it because he has the ability to get back and protect the house. He can also zing an outlet pass with the best of them and look pretty slick doing it sometimes. Shooting the puck, he almost always gets low and on goal for redirections. Sometimes he scores because he gets lucky and sometimes he scores because he's just good. For most of the season, he tended to settle on a shot from the outside when he got over the line, but Post blip, there was more of a willingness to hold on and create a better shot. If John Klingberg keeps giving away his secrets, I think that would be a pretty cool development. He personified his entire game with a play in Boston. Three minutes left, down by two with an empty net, face off in the offensive zone. It's a time to be aggressive. The Stars lose the draw and the puck soon comes to the line. Klingberg can't keep it in, and Brad Marchand has an easy path to the net to end the game. Yeah, things don't always turn out like you plan. Heiskanen makes an incredible play to get back and keep the game alive. He soon trips Sean Corrali with his mind and gets the puck going the other way. Suddenly, the team has numbers and he supports the rush from his net all the way to the opposing net and finishes what he started by scoring. Yeah, Zdeno Chara helped a little bit, but holy shit. They ended up losing, but that effort is not lost and is the kind of stuff that translates to bigger wins down the line. So no, he's not an offensive dynamo with the puck. He's not the most gifted physically. He's not a highlight reel player. But when you can clock 25 minutes, play penalty kill, play power play, five on five, regularly match up against McKinnon, Matthews, Dreisaitl, Kane, Marshan, Goudreau, Mark Stone, and hold your own? All at 21, you might be pretty damn good now, and even better later. So yeah, that's Mirror Heiskin. <laughs>